Nelson Pinto wobbled him for a moment. Well, Pinto seemed to have been so stiff and cold. He isn't. He hasn't warmed up. Uh, and, and from what I can see right here, just this little bit right here, he's got his hands full with uh, tonight trying to beat Cotto. Cotto is much more accurate, shorter, and compact with his punches. Cotto very relaxed on his feet, bouncing as he moves in. He's already landed the one big left hook. Pinto tried a roundhouse right coming back, but missed it. There Pinto lands a left hook and another left. But Cotto catches him with a left in between. And once again, you're looking at two fighters who are likely to trade some. Yeah, uh, Pinto knows that he can punch too. The thing is, his punches are a little bit wider. And he's out jabbing Pinto right now, Cotto. Yeah, Pinto's up about a movement. It's not enough at this stage. And, he, and he's got his hands down just enough for Pinto to get, I mean, Cotto to get close enough and drop a short shot over, or either catch him with a left hook and a, and a clean up punch. Roundhouse right over the top by Pinto. The long punches sometimes look more spectacular than their impact would cause you to think as they lose power traveling that long arc. Pinto throws a lot of punches like that. I can see why he's giving uh, Cotto problems in Hamlet because he's a very good technical fighter. Seems to have a good sense of distance. Well, in the amateurs, he could probably win those fights with his jab. And I was going to say, what Cotto's got to do is try to get close to him and force him into an exchange where his shorter, more accurate punches would be more effective. And Cotto lands a right hand after two little left hooks inside to the body. Cotto needs to go straight to the inside and, and make him fight at close range. Cotto believes he's stronger than Pinto and wants to make that impression right away. Cotto blocking some of Pinto's step inside and landing another left. So far, Cotto doing a better job oh, yeah. of sure. reminding Pinto that this is a different fight than when they yeah, fought amateurs. Yes, right. Then Pinto is of reminding him that it's the same fight. Pinto continually complaining to referee Robert Ramirez. And now they can be beaten. And I don't expect Pinto to go away too quickly. Pinto threw 83 punches in the round by CompuBox count. But he can't take those left hooks uh, too often. Yep. Cotto was 29 out of 63. Pinto 11 out of 83. Cotto landing half his power shots. This is the blueprint for Cotto to win the fight. Just stay calm, stay tight inside the whirling dervish that is Pinto with all those long shots. There you see Cotto's left hook getting there first. And the left hook gets there again. And now to the body. And another one on the chin. And Pinto just firing and firing with those roundhouse punches as Cotto does his work inside. Two young guns firing away. I'm very impressed with Pinto, even though I think he's going to get beat. I've been very impressed with him. Pinto seems a little wobbly on his feet. It doesn't stop him from throwing everything he can throw. Good left hook by Pinto. Good shot by Pinto. Cotto with a huge left hook. And, Pinto and, and, missed and, the right cross around the back of Cotto's head, but he solidly landed that left hook inside. And it looks like, to my surprise, Cotto is the one that backed away for a minute ago, trying to regroup and reorganize. I think Cotto thinks that he can counter punch Pinto with those wide punches of his. At this stage here. He's got to step Pinto. up inside bravely to do it. Pinto's changed the whole fight around at this stage. I think by taking those hooks and those changes and coming back, he's got Cotto down, backing up a little bit. Pinto landed something that has made Cotto think twice. Whether it was oh, yeah. the left hook or one of those right hands, Pinto landed something that has changed Cotto's approach. And there 
there's a hard right hand followed by the left foot. The one-two puts Pinto down. It's a sharp punch. The left hook has been consistent all night when they get in those exchanges. Out on its feet. Pinto holding on to Cotto's right arm. Three this, times. this is a good fight. Pinto still punching with a lot of power. What a matchup. Let's see him fight four times. <laughs> Knockdown. But Pinto still punching with a lot of power still. But not landing very often. Combi box numbers through round two show Cotto at 51 out of 105. Far more efficient, far more economical than Pinto's 17 out of 147. And you see the 10-8 round scored by Harold Letterman as the result of the knockdown of Kelson Pinto. And they're landing a right to the back of Cotto's head. It was pretty powerful. Yeah, it was just the same goal. thing again. The short left hook that he cannot get away from. And that's the difference between a pro and an amateur. That's how Cotto has improved and matured as a fighter. That left hook. You better watch out for Pinto's right hand because he's still winning a dangerous right hand. Cotto just waiting for Pinto to throw wide and then looking to step up inside. Cotto keeping his gloves on the sides of his head because he expects Pinto to throw round, rounded punches, yes. like that. Good body shot by Cotto, countering underneath Pinto's big stuff. But Pinto does a man going right back after him, and he's really dictating the pace right now at this stage. One thing you can see for sure is that in terms of talent, Kelson Pinto belongs in the same echelon with Miguel Cotto. Oh yeah, I'm very impressed with him. Whether his experience is going to give him a chance to stay with Cotto in this fight remains to be seen. But a guy that fights like Pinto fights, he needs to be busy fighting all the time because he's a good coordination fighter, but being inactive like that has hurt him tremendously going into this fight. But what a talent. And there's a hard right hand by Pinto. He should a lot of those fights. You know, he's had as many fights as Cotto in the four years since the Sydney Olympics. Not against the same kind of opponent. Competition. That was a huge left hook by Cotto. Exploded on the chin of Pinto. Pinto slightly wobbling now. Cotto goes to the body to try to solidify his advantage. Oh. The brave Kelson Pinto keeps throwing. Hard right hand shot wobbles Pinto again. And he keeps throwing to try to make it out of the round. 